Hey there YouTubers, how's it going? I finally got Mafia 3, so let's play it, check it out. Sweet. So this game is set in the 1960s and I think it's in New Orleans in America. I don't think it's an exact replica of New Orleans, I think they've changed it a bit to make it more fun for driving and stuff like that. But it looks really realistic and I've always wanted to go to New Orleans so I guess I can, kind of, in this game. Here we go. Mafia 3 takes place in a fictionalized version of the South, of the American South in 1968. We sought to create an authentic and immersive experience that captures this very turbulent time and place, including depictions of racism. We find the racist beliefs, language, and behaviour of some characters in this game abhorrent, but believe it is vital to include these depictions in order to tell Lincoln Clay's story. And another sentence I missed. Presented by New Bordeaux. So there's some pretty funky tunes came out around this time. A modern city with traditional southern values. I underestimated how far he was going to go. What he was willing to do. Visit the historic French ward and enjoy local cuisine at one of our five star restaurants. Killing them wasn't enough. Lincoln Clay was using them to send a message. Or spend the afternoon in the Bayou and take in its natural splendor. Sal Marcano had no idea what he was going to unleash. New Bordeaux. Safe. Family oriented family. Make it your next vacation destination. This city survived the War of 1812, the Civil War, and God knows how many hurricanes. But when Lincoln Clay went after the mob, he inflicted more damage than all the wars and hurricanes combined. That's me, Lincoln Clay. Lincoln's mother abandoned him in 1947, a couple of years after he was born. His mother, I heard she was diminished. I always figured his father was white. Maybe he's not Italian. Not that it matters. Back then, if you look black, you black. Came as the day, I suppose. He stayed at the orphanage until 1958. So when did you meet you Lincoln Clay? 1966. I was running black ops out of Laos on behalf of the CIA. He was loaned out to me via Joint CIA DOD Task Force. He was a quiet boy. Good boy. Two Purple Hearts, a Bronze Star, and the Distinguished Service Cross. He served his country with honor and distinction. After the city closed the orphanage, he fell in with Sammy Robinson. Sammy ran the black mob over in Delray Hollow. I can't say I approve. But often colored boys didn't have a lot of options back then. Boys like Lincoln, the ones who've been abandoned, they're always looking for a home. Always looking for a place to belong. Thank you, thought he'd find it now. Thing is, once that's lost, Okay, so pretty full on story. Seems to be a bit of slowdown in this game, which is annoying me. Still say this is the craziest goddamn thing I ever heard. Using real money to rob the feds. Well, hell man, not like this is our cash. This all came from Skeletta. Besides, peanuts compared to what we're gonna haul out of there. Is everything we need to burn? Yeah, that's it. 
I grab the keys to the truck, then we can get the fuck out of here. Why take the chance? Pick up the keys. So is that me? Yeah, I think that is me. Right, where are these keys? Looks like they're through this door. Still not sure about leaving them like this. What have we done? So we can sprint. Let's roll. Take it easy here in the town. We don't need the cops crawling up our asses. Ah, that poor fuck back there. He ain't got no idea what he's in for. What was his cut? Five percent? They're about, not like he'll be able to spend it. Said to be watching his every move for the rest of his life. Probably be better we just whacked him. If I learned anything in Nam, always a good idea to dangle someone out there. Use him to get everybody's attention, and you just slip away. So answer me this. The craziest thing you saw today. You don't want to know. Hell, man, I'm a taxpayer. I got the right to know how my money's being spent. Oh, Georgie Marcano pays taxes. Damn right I do. That's how they got Al Capone. And I ain't going to prison for no fucking tax bill. Huh? Oh, you going to answer the question or what? Yeah. Yeah. We on the coach. Watch out. Watch out. Shit. Where was I? Yeah. yeah. We on the coast of Quang Nai. Evacuating the civvies for it. Charlie overran everything. Anyway, getting them onto a medical ship. This woman walks up. She's got a baby in one hand and a leash to a pig in the other. She starts up the ramp and the MP stops her and tells her, You can only bring one thing on board. So she tosses the baby into the water. MP goes ape. Tells someone, Dive in after the kid. Starts screaming at the woman, wants to know what the fuck she's thinking. You know what she says to him? She says, I can always have another baby. He's fucking fast. Hey man, you asked. <laughs> yeah, but I thought you were gonna tell me a story about some goop getting his dick blown off or something. I mean, god damn. It's not a fault. It's not a fault. Look, not like you think. Conditions over there, man. Jesus Christ. One day you're raising cattle, tending your rice. Next day everything bombed flat. You put people up against the wall. They will do anything to survive. That better have been one delicious fucking pig. Alright, so we've made it to our destination. Thing I care about. 
Getting our hands on that money. Well, they had our first job. Okay, I don't get it. Uh, maybe these bags are empty. I thought we were taking money. Need to check that scatter gun. You packing anything? Still in training. Good. One less goddamn thing. Need worry about. You can pick it up on the way out. Yeah. Buying rooms down in the cellar. This way. I ain't seen y'all around these parts before. I was over in Georgia for a while. He just got out of the service. My cousin's been trying to get on here for over a year now. Was in the Navy for two tours. Got medals falling out of his ass. Government tells him thanks, but no thanks. That's a crock of shit if I ever heard one. Sad day when a God-fearing white man can't get a job. The old nigga who staggers in is high on the spot. See some money. Figured it'd be bigger. It gets the job done. Only time there's a problem is when the flu clogs up. Fuck. That's some heat right there. Used to use coal for it, but years ago back we switched over to oil. Maintains a more consistent flame. Here's some guy coming around the house trying to switch me over to oil. God, that guy was an asshole. We need to move. Danny and Ellis should be coming up any time now. Give me a second. Is that money? Did he just chuck some on the fire? Has this guy got keys? Keep your ass down. You don't want them getting a drop on us. I know what the fuck I'm doing. some money.
I'll be damned. All right, go for it, Godzilla. Hold off the guard until Danny's done drilling. Hey, you gonna pull this off? Fill your pockets with money. All right. Well, that is the first 15 minutes of Mafia 3. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for my next part.